Hello everyone, welcome to Parametric Planet and welcome to Sophistic Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I will show you how you can save your analysis result in a text file using Daddy Script. I have prepared this example and I assume that you guys are already familiar with the Daddy format. Just to give you an overview, uh, I have first I have created the material and the cross section and then I have created these two profiles. One is uh, IP300, the other one is 600 because I want to create a taper profile. And then I have created two nodes so that I can create a structural beam. Here I have assigned these two sections, one to two, it means 300 to 600. And this part of the code, it just uh, does the interpolation to give us the smooth profile. And then I have defined the beam load, which is 500 kilonewton per meter. And then I have performed the analysis of that beam. Uh, here is the main part, uh, which I want to explain how we can save our result in a text file. So in this example, I have used CD base help tool to extract the forces. If you go and check this one, you can find all the information. So the first step is to define the text file. So this uh, code here, it basically define your text file. So text file equal to, it's the name of the file which you want to define. So it can be dot text, it can be dot dot file. So you can define the extension. Both are um, okay. Here I have defined beam number, length, and the bending moment, but you can leave it empty. So in that case, the first row will be empty. And the next thing I have done, I have uh, defined this variable. Actually, it's a sophisticated uh, internal variable, and it just uh, raised the error flag. And then I have accessed the CDB using this uh, key command. It means it will extract the beam forces for the load case one. And then what I have done, I have just uh, run the loop. Uh, you guys have noticed that I have not written any value. So when you just write loop, it means it will uh, go through all the record. But how I have ended this loop, I have used this variable here. When you use this CDB underscore IE are less than two, it means it will exit the loop or it will uh, complete the loop when it goes through all the record. And uh, then I have uh, saved this values in our variables. This one means the beam number, this one is the beam length, as this uh, structural element is further divided into n beams. So it will be the start of the beam and the end of the beam. And then I have extracted the bending moment start and the end of the beam. So now we want to append this value in our text file. So when you want to do that, you have to write the same block uh, which we have defined here, but you have to add plus sign here. So it means first it will create the file, then it will append this value in this file. So I have just um, written these values here, number, length, and the bending moment. And then I have closed the text block, and then I have uh, closed the uh, end if condition, and then finally close the loop. So, uh, the important thing is if uh, you don't define this block, so it means your file is not created. If you just directly write this plus sign, then Sophistic will give you an error and it will not uh, proceed further. So if you remove this plus sign, then Sophistic will create a file, but it will not append all the values which you are getting through this loop in this text file. You can try that one, so uh, you can uh, check by yourself. So it's really important. First, you have to create the file, and then uh, you have to append those values in that file. If you don't do that, then it will either it will give you an error, or it will just save only one value. And with this one, uh, if you change your length of the beam or loading of the beam, this file will always be replaced with the uh, the new analysis. At the moment, I have not run the analysis and there is a no text file here. So after running the analysis, we will see our text file will be saved in this uh, folder where we, we have um, saved our daddy file. 
So uh, let's run the analysis. So the analysis has been completed. Uh, you can see it beam, it's a tepper profile. And let's see our text file. So here's the text file. If I open this one, we can check uh, it's our beam number, it's the length and it's the bending moment. So it's the start and the end of the beam. And this is the beam length, zero and then two meter and so on. Uh, one more thing I would like to tell you, if you don't use this, uh, this, this condition or this variable, then Sophistic will not end this loop and then there will be an infinite loop and you won't be able to process this file and then you have to close this study file and then again you have to run. So it's really important that you should close this end loop with this condition when you have not defined any value here, you just want to extract all the records, then I would prefer to use uh, this procedure, like you just write the loop, and then you just uh, define these conditions, and then it will automatically uh, exit the loop when it goes through all the record. So now uh, we will change the length of the beam, and I will also change the divisions, and let's see if it uh, replace our exist, existing text file or no. So I will run the analysis. So the analysis has been completed. You can see that uh, now the length of the beam has been changed. And now let's check our text file. And you see now we have only 10 beams because uh, we have limited our division to five. So it's start and the end start and the end start and the end. So it's total five. So that's how you can save your analysis result in the text file. That's all for this video. And if you have any questions or any comments, and if you would like to know more about it, please write in the comments and I will try to answer your comments. I wish you good luck. Have a nice day and bye-bye.